That view's awesome because you get both overhangs like coming back and dying right into that big wall. My name is Andrew McClure. I'm a designer and I specialize in custom high-end residential design. Once you get a good project, you have a lot of client interaction, kind of get a sense of their personality, what their preferences are, and really study the site and where the project is and how that impacts what the design is going to be. So you really take it from kind of an infancy stage and develop it all the way through to hopefully some kind of uh, beautiful piece of architecture. I'm a complete noob with Minecraft. I had my little cousin Carter show me it on his iPad for a couple hours. You know, I'm just going to kind of wing it and, and hopefully that some of the uh, 3D software I use translates. Today I think I'm going to try to do a house, something similar to maybe what we would be doing in the office. Just kind of wing it a little bit and give it a go. Every time you're starting a project, you'd really want to study all the um, environmental factors and sun patterns and everything and how that affects the design because that's you know super important with natural lighting and sustainability and basic functions if you've got a pool you know you want it to be in the sun if you've got gardens things like that rooms you know you want to have certain overhangs this is a pretty good site looks like there's some cool sand dunes over here and now you got water kind of on both sides the first thing I'm gonna do is try to kind of just lay out the foundation so this is probably gonna be the entry here. You know, I kind of want to come in looking at sort of those mountains in the distance. So we're going to build this pretty wide grand entry, kind of like a palace or something. You know, this is basically an aerial view kind of of the footprint. So I want to have this part basically be the entry that's kind of you know, coming in on over the, the water feature and, you know, in between those two mountains. Well, on the left there, that'll be some kind of big stone wall, kind of an anchoring element that gets you um, through and into the house and kind of will continue um, as a nice, I think, cohesive element. And then these will be the bedrooms over here. This will be sort of, sort of a, you know, side-loaded garage. like zombies and stuff so we're gonna ward those guys off. Feels like it's an ancient ruins. This would be bedroom one, bedroom two, and maybe a hangout area in between. I'm not gonna get into all the detail of bathrooms and whatever, we're just focusing on the architecture. That's kind of starting to frame something, you know, come out of the ground a little bit. This would be a great little guest house for the parents, you know, so their kids can come over here and you can have one kid in this room, one kid in that room, and they can go play Minecraft. I'm going to start introducing the roof plane. I want to do one lower one here. That would give you kind of your, your normal ceiling height in these secondary spaces and, and in the garage. And what we'll do is we'll start filling in the overhangs with some wood soffits. I like the idea of kind of also accentuating some of these more prominent walls. So if we can get like a light right like there, you know, that kind of wall washes that element. You know, you start to see those walls a lot clearer and emphasize kind of certain experiences like when you're walking in, you know, we can kind of illuminate the pathway there.
So now I'm just kind of coming around the back side or the interior side of the guest house. These could be sliding doors or something. But for this glass, I want to try to take it up a little bit further. So this glass will actually go all the way up to the higher ceiling. So you can let some light there into the clear story windows. Now we're gonna go back and we're gonna put the second roof on. So that looks pretty good, I think. Except now we're really running out of room here for this second half of the house, so we might have to just cantilever it out over the water, but that's cool. It's just gonna cost a little bit more. This is gonna be the courtyard, so I kinda wanna, you know, be able to space this part of the house out against the main part of the house and have a big, nice courtyard here that's kinda framing that mountain and maybe put like a water feature or a pool or something there. That's a pretty steep cantilever, uh, but whatever. Maybe we'll put some supports there eventually. That's a big bedroom. You know what I gotta do. <laughs> okay, let's work on the kitchen side now. This could be like a little sit-up bar, and you could kind of open those up and serve your hamburgers and hot dogs and margaritas. I need to do the doors here, that's right. Three bays, and we just need a big tree here. a decent looking tree. I think what I'm gonna do is dig out the sand, create like a pool shell bottom, and then fill it with water. That looks a little better. This is the front facade here and two nice roof planes with the steel fascia on it. On the right, that's the finished guest house. Then in between the garage and the main house, we've got a nice little garden. So you come out of the, the garage here, walk by the garden, get some nice natural light. So when you come into the courtyard, you kind of see that same repeating roof element. Nice kind of transition here, walk across the lily pads with the water wall, comes down and this whole interior courtyard pool opens up to the view of those mountains slash sand dunes over there. We're coming in the front door to the great room here. Big sliding door system here that can you know, disappear and you can have this beautiful vista of the mountains in the distance. We've got the kitchen over here with a skylight and a nice, nice window looking right at the sun. We've got a diamond island here with a, with a pass-through so you can serve outside and these doors open up to a nice deck out here. And then the master we've got its own fireplace, sliding doors, hang out here in, in bed looking at those mountain peaks over there in the distance. This is kind of a, a nice aerial perspective at night with all the lights on. You can see all the beautiful roof planes come down in here into the courtyard. And then that massive cantilevered deck on the backside. You've got the fire roaring here. We've got another one here in the in the master. It's not a small house. This is a decent representation of kind of the stuff that we, we do. Definitely a lot more detail and you know a lot more planning going into a real project. I'm ready to move in.